we look back at Eddie Irvine, who had plenty of F1 success and is best known for his time at Ferrari. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our new home on unbeaten.com. The F1 paddock has forever been a home to lots of different characters. And October 2020 marked 27 years since the debut of former Grand Prix playboy Eddie Irvine, who rocked the sport during its age of excess in the mid-1990s and early 2000s. The Irishman joined the then Jordan team for his F1 debut, but in his first race in Japan 1993, made the worst enemy possible in world champion Ayrton Senna, then with McLaren, who won the race and then infamously punched him after the young upstart was unapologetic for unlapping himself. Irvine recovered though and showed his abilities over the next two years with the team. 1996 marked the start of his big break with Ferrari, which was creating its own dream team as part of a money, no object resurgence, including the then reigning world champion, Michael Schumacher. But even from the off, Irvine was seen as little more than a number two to the German and spent countless hours pounding out the laps at Ferrari's Fiorano circuit, testing for Schumacher. You know, Michael is the best. And for me, it's, it's difficult to be seen as the number two. On track, Irvine was third on his Ferrari debut in Australia, but a total of 14 podiums from his first three seasons with the prancing horse paled in comparison to Schumi's 14 wins. And deep down, like Schumi, the Irishman wanted to win. At the minute, I'm just watching this guy trying to improve my game so that you know, whenever we have the car to do the job, I'll be able to spank their bottoms. His chance came in 1999 with his maiden victory at the opening round in Australia before stepping up as Ferrari's team leader after Schumacher broke his leg at the British GP. But McLaren's Mika Hakkinen denied him the world title at the final round in Japan. Irvine again hoped to lead a top team when he moved to the new Jaguar squad from 2000 but poor management meant three years of poor results, with 2002 his last in competitive racing. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.